Wubba lubba dub dub. This sword took so long to get. It's actually unbelievable. I think I went hollow in real life, but I finally got it. Oh my god. And it does two more damage than the regular longsword. So essentially, um, if you can tell by my soul level, uh, I, considering I'm now double the level I was the last episode, you probably guessed that it took me quite a while to farm this thing. If you're farming it yourself, I highly recommend if you just farm the regular uh, soldiers, just go with the longsword, honestly, unless you want pain. It, you truly just have to get lucky. I was running 10 humanity um, just so that I could increase item discovery to 210 because it caps at uh, 210 if you have 10 humanity. Otherwise, like, it's only 100. Even then, this sword has a 1% chance to f drop. And it's essentially the Lothric Knight Sword from Dark Souls 2 and 3. But if you'll notice, it's pretty much exactly like the long sword, except it's slightly longer. So if we do a comparison, here's the long sword, right? Here is the Balder side sword, the Balder swag sword, the original OG Lothric knight sword. This is the the horizontal with the light attack, and then the vertical with the heavy attack. Unless I got those mixed up, I probably did. Um, it also has a pretty nice combo with heavy and lights, and then the double heavy is this but with the lothric uh not the lothric i keep wanting to call this the lothric knight sword with the balder side sword it has the regular combo with increased range but the heavy attack is a double stab which is very very nice and then the two-handed heavy so it's kind of a cross between like a, a spear a regular long sword and like a an S talk essentially. So you have your stabby, and then you have your your vertical and horizontal. So it's pretty much good at everything. I've had to kill these mother so many times. Ah, uh, true pain, truly. But anyways, finally I can uh finally start progressing. I, I didn't pick up any of the items in this area. Kill anything, because I, I didn't want you guys to, like, miss anything. So, don't worry. I, I've suffered for your amusement. Anyways. Finally, we can continue with the playthrough here. Looked over to make sure I was still recording. If I wasn't, I'd be sad. The basement key. This is how you get to the lower undead burg. I'm 90% sure. That shortcut's unlocked. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I have uh, I have suffered. In fact, I think what we're going to do before we fight the... Actually, let's just kill the... Mm, can I kill the big boy? Maybe if I lure him over here real quick. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's a big one. He's a big boy. I can't backstab you, right? Nah. That would be silly. I've wanted to kill this guy just for the heck of it. So that uh, I could, like, take a shortcut. Because I, I literally, the route I was taking, I was running from here all the way around and then around the cathedral to avoid him. Motherfucker, are you healing? Because otherwise his AI would get, like, stuck, and then it would just be a pain in the ass running back and forth. For some reason, he doesn't like to reset to his original spot. Because uh, this isn't an enemy that respawns. Similar to the pig. Oh, I'm fat rolling. Shit. Why am I fat rolling? This doesn't... Oh, that's why. Haha. Please stop healing, sir. Oh, that's so nice. Wait a minute. Oh! Oh, this weapon is so good. Anyways, we killed him. 
get this real quick. Firekeeper sold. This is going to enforce our Estus. Which is very nice. Oh, I'm so happy. As soon as I saw that sword drop, I was like, yes. My pain is over. I'm, I'm very over-leveled for this area now is the only thing, but... It shouldn't be too bad. I've mainly just pumped into endurance anyways. And uh, I'm going to stop at the soft cap of 40. Or is that the hard cap? Either way. Now I can finally talk to the blacksmith here and level up my weapon. What's up, buddy? Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of a store wrap. If you require smithing, then speak to me. Andre the Giant, let's go. I got my hurrah gesture. Modify equipment, reinforce weapon, yes. So apparently the, uh, the PvP in this game is dependent on how many upgrades you have on your weapon. Which is interesting. Um, I, I got killed by a guy who was using dark magic with no upgrades and he just one shot me. He was doing the slow walk and the point down. It was kind of cringe. Um, let's see. I found the hollow soldier shield. I don't know what shield I'm going to rock. Before I upgrade any more, let me do some inventory management here. I've been farming these guys for a while. Look at how much armor I got from them, and I only got one sword. I got three of the freaking rapiers from them. Kind of annoying. Um, but now it's all paying off. Let's go human. Oh, God, I'm just so happy that that's finally over. That was pain. We have a pretty good buff to our weapon damage. We went from 96 to uh, 146. It's pretty good. We're still fast rolling. Um, Let's see. Can I wear the balder armor? No, that makes me slow roll. What about if I use the buckler? With the buckler? Okay. Cool. I look, uh... I don't look great, but I mean, I got 23 poise and 134 physical defense, so... And I'm fast rolling. I don't really like the buckler. That's the only thing. I'm gonna replace it with the grass crest shield at some point anyways, though. Let's talk to him. Every hunk of metal has its breaking point. If you noticed your ability running, you can ask a blacksmith like myself. The nice thing about weapons, they never betray you. So pay them a little respect, hey? Eh? I can't tell if he's hollow or he's just buff as fuck. I'd like to believe he's just buff as fuck. And he's so buff that he looks hollow. I'm not gonna reinforce any armor yet, just because I... I'm probably going to change armor a couple times. Um, same thing for my shield. So, oh, he just sells Titanite. So, yeah. Let's get some large arrows just for later. Don't get yourself killed. Thanks, Andre. Such a nice guy. Oh, I cannot tell you what a relief it is just to be done with that grind. Again, if you're doing this on your own, I would not go for the Balder Side Sword. Honestly, the Claymore from the Dragon Bridge is a good choice, although a, a bit heavier. The, um... If you find a, a regular long sword from the, the Skeleton Warriors right here, this is essentially, let me just show you, since I grinded pretty much off camera, the route that I did was this, then I'd kill this guy, I'd run over here and kill this guy. Titan Knight Shard, cool. It's the last time I have to do this fucking farming route. 
I think this is payback for uh, when my buddy dropped me that uh, plus 14 or whatever Baldur's Side Sword Lightning Infused and helped me cheese the game. Because I'm going to be honest, this part of the game is where Little Gidra gave up before, my, uh, before I got invaded and my friend dropped me giant armor and lightning boulder side sword so i think the like the two or three hours that i grinded for that is just kind of like i i i consider that my my penance for having essentially cheesed the game and not having to learn it anyways Whew. that was the route i i just and then I, instead of going this way because of the big guy, I went all the way back around and just kept walking there. Because I ran out of Homeward Bones. Ugh. Anyways. I think what we're going to do is use the shortcut right here. So you could jump off early right here, and then you'll go to a special area that takes us back to the Undead Asylum. We're not going to do that yet, just because uh, we're not strong enough to defeat the second uh, demon in there. Uh, this guy talked to me about the Firekeeper when I talked to her a little bit. Let me see if she'll do anything now that I have this Firekeeper soul. Yes, she will. Sweet. Thanks, honey. Ah, there is another thing I need to do before I kill the, gar uh, the gargoyles, actually, now that I think about it. Need to go pay our old friend, uh, I think, is it... I remember his name. I wanted to say Lothric, but I know that's the, the knights from Dark Souls 3. Pyromancy's so good here, by the way. Oh my goodness. Stab. 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 Don't be, like, this is deceptive. These guys will fuck you up if you don't take them on one by one right here. All right, um, let's see, get this. Praise the sun. Try to parry this guy, although I suck with the buckler for some reason. And I really suck at parrying uh, strikes, I've noticed, or like thrusting attacks. There it is. Oh, we're so strong now. I swear to god, if that was another Balder side sword, I was about to rage quit. If if another one of these swords that I farmed for hours to get drops, I will be upsetty spaghetti. Some humanita. So this guy right here, the mystery key that we picked up earlier, unlocks his cell. This is probably the most important thing in the game. As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Oh, are you? There you go, buddy. Thank you. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. Lautrec. I appreciate this. And I guarantee... I guarantee a reward only later. The reward is betrayal and killing your firekeeper. So, uh, you know what? Fuck you, because we want your ring, buddy. Can I, like, hit you correctly? I'm betraying you. I was once grateful to you two seconds ago, but then you attacked me. God, they make you fight him in such a weird enclosed area. He has a parrying dagger as well, and he can go through your shields, but I'm kind of overleveled right now. Ring of favor and protection. This is the most important thing in the game. So, I think I want it. Let me see. 
I'm probably not going to get this heavy into PvP. What's the fastest way to ring swap? Down right. Yeah. Okay, so I want it in this slot. This ring breaks if removed, but you're never going to remove it anyways because it increases your HP, stamina, and uh, equipment load. So it essentially just makes you way better. In fact, I should be able to equip these now without penalty. Maybe not those. Definitely the gauntlets, though. Yeah! And I think I could even go with the, the Balder Shield? No. Uh, dupe. Hey! There we go. So now I have a shield with 100% defense, good stability. I have 23 poise and 134 defense with a really good weapon. So we are styling and profiling now. I think we're ever, uh, ready to take on Havel, and then we could even uh, equip heavier armor. And once I hit the, the soft uh, or hard cap, whatever it is, of uh, 40 for endurance... Uh, I should be able to find the best armor I can wear for the time being. Anyways, let's go kill these Belfry Gargoyles. I have kindled the bonfire to allow 10 Estus. I could summon Solaire here if I want, but I really don't need him. Yeah, no, we're, we're just gonna... We're gonna do this solo. We're a big boy. I love how they're just sitting here, not moving. That's pretty cool. These guys are actually cooler than I remember. That might just be the remake, but... Damn. It looks pretty cool. Alright, so the trick to these guys is killing this one as quickly as possible before the second one spawns. Oh, shit. That camera angle fucked me. Alright, buddy. I'm not gonna lock on here. Oops. Hey! Killed him. Uh, got his tail. Got his tail weapon. Let's go. I need stamina. Yeah, that one's a little flamethrower. Oh shit, I just rolled right into his fire, I hope. Yeah, that's, shit, that's rough. That's rough. All right, I'm getting into the rhythm. I've been fighting humanoid enemies way too long today. All right, there's one down. This guy should be a cakewalk now. His tail's already gone, so I can't get another one of those things. Damn. Easy peasy. I always freak out when there's multiple enemies, but as soon as there's one, it's way easier. Twin humanities. There's no item on either side of this, right? Yeah. I did it! That gave me a lot of souls, my goodness. Nice. Climbing the ladder, what a thrill. Darkness and dun 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 dun. What a thrill. Stick it up! Anyways, I have completed the first step of my mission.
Nice. And then we have Velka. Greetings. I am Oswald. Oh no, Oswald. The park. Thou art a friend. For thee, a warm welcome. Cometh thou to confess? Or to accuse? Homeward Bones. Yeah, we need some of those. Checklist of indicted players. The goddess Velka. That's right. He he worships the goddess Velka. Uh, we can get one of those, actually. Um, Velka Talisman. Don't need that. Don't need those. Learn gesture. The best gesture in the game. Well, what is it? I can choose to abandon my covenant. And I believe I can also, like, uh, pay him to absolve sin. If I kill, like, uh, players. Or not players. If I kill... If I uh, invade worlds too many times and get indicted. Or if I uh, kill an NCP in the game. Um, let's see. So, I have a lot of humanity. But I guess I can have that there. Homeward bone. Take these off for now. Yeah. That looks good. Okay, thanks, buddy. See ya. In fact, we can just homeward bone right now. Alright, so now... What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through the... The cat area. Well, I don't know. You seem to need any... There are two types of rip. Um, I don't think I need anything re reinforced yet. So after you go down here, there's just a fucking giant enemy that shoots lightning at you. So what we like to do is come here and just get shit on by him. I... I could have sworn there was omnidirectional rolling in this game. Maybe there is, but it doesn't feel like it. I know the, the original didn't have it, but the remake... I remember reading it's supposed to? But the rolling compared to 3, and this one definitely feels clunky, and it's really throwing me off. I don't think you can cut off his tail for anything. Another thing that Dark Souls 1 had that uh, a lot of the other games didn't really is uh, cutting off the boss's tails for weapons. And I think they just kind of replaced that with uh, their souls can be turned into boss weapons. I think you still get souls for killing them, the bosses if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. I'll check after this. With how I'm just casually talking while I'm killing this man. Ending his whole career. The trick to the law of the bosses is honestly just get behind them. I think he drops a large titanite chunk or something. Gonna need it for upgrading weapons later anyways. Might as well. I love how, like, imagine if this guy wasn't missing a leg and his head. It's a really cool design. God, this sword does work. I need to... I think I'm going to take a break from leveling up Endurance and get some more damage, though. So I don't have to swing as many times. He drops a Demon Titanite. That's right. Alright. In the lovely cat forest here. With these lovely bush enemies.
I'm gonna go down and get my favorite shield in the entire game real quick. And then I could kill the Hydra, but I don't feel like doing it now. I'm not gonna waste your guys' time running all the way down there trying to kill it when I can... I'm gonna have to go over there for the DLC anyways, I'll just kill it then later. Titanite Knight Chunk and Twinkling, nice. Leather armor. And a longbow. Um... I know there's also the elite knight armor down there somewhere. Mmm, what I have is better. For now. I'm gonna kill this Black Knight, get my Grass Crest Shield, and then rest at this bonfire. Sup, buddy? Maybe I won't kill this Black Knight. Maybe he'll just wreck my shit. Or not. Oh, shit. I see you, buddy. Alright. Let's go. You have way more HP than I thought you had. Wait a minute. Oh, God. Can I please get my shield out? Please, sir. Die. Thank you. Black Knight Halberd. That's a pretty good weapon. Wait. Let me see. Does this take a lot of strength? It does. That's a shame. I remember that weapon's real, really, really fun. <clears throat> so this is 3.5. This only costs 3, and it has 100 stability once we uh, level it up. Coolest thing about this is it gives us a, a buff to our stamina regen. Even if we're two-handing. So this is, without a doubt, my favorite shield in the entire game. And then I have this this green aura on me at all times. Some people think is annoying. I think it's kind of cool. Um, I got a couple levels that I could drop. Um, what's over here again? This, right, this just leads down to Blight Town as well. I think I'm going to end this episode here, guys, because I am out of time. Um, so next time you see me, I'm going to be talking to Andre and leveling up some stuff. So see you next time.